Hmm, yeah, right. Uh, I will make sure I get this sorted. Do you even understand him? Not a single war. Oh, you're right here. I wasn't expecting you. Well, I guess I gotta start then. Hey, wanna deck Baron Lucifs? Baron Lucifs is somewhat of a toxic deck, meaning your opponent will surrender. Okay, now, it is a tempo deck with slow grow late game due to the nature of the chimes which will allow you to buff your units and champions to real levels. Your main champions for this deck are 3 copies of Power and Ari. Ari's signature card is Charm. You recall an ally and give an enemy vulnerable for one round. Power's signature card is Traveler's Call. Draw a follower and activate all the effects of all the boons in the top 3 cards of your deck. Unlike some other decks we have seen before, this deck is a completely reactive and relaxed deck, where you don't need to force anything unless forced to, as your smooth transitions to mid game and into late game will happen. On early game, this deck focuses on burn damage to close late game with a big Ari or the side end as your win conditions. Bar, Bird the Bell Ringer, and Esmus Breath of the Wall are used to stack chimes on your deck. Recalling Bird over and over again is a great way to funnel chimes into your deck, as Bird also guarantees the chimes to be in the next card you draw. Why comfort with 3 chimes per turn from the Wandering Caretaker and then only 3 random chimes when Bar attacks when we could? be a massively improvement in this. We are chime business, ladies and gentlemen. It's all about making profit and not just forgiven. As I just said, the Wandering Caretaker is your passive chime generator, but you do not need bar for it to work as it is your deck's passive. Just by having bar, this passive will grant you one chime per bar. We play three, therefore three chimes for just existing. This deck also offers landmark removal with homecoming, which can slow down quite a few decks such as Monoshurima from the last episode. Banking mana and responding to plays instead of taking the initiative is the way to go, and passing as well. Very relaxed deck to play with a nice cold drink while you crush your enemies. Here's a deck preview, although I will mention other card choices later. On your Mulligan turn, we want to keep Ari as she will be barely valuable as a turn you drop followed by cards like Bird, the Bell Ringer, and Esmo's Birth of the Wall. To start planting your deck with ch chimes and Dancing Droplet will be your defensive tool as you can make the enemy lose tempo by blocking and recalling Dancing Droplet as it will be a fail attack for them and a card draw for you, thanks to his passive. Additionally, it's an elusive unit, so you can start chipping damage into the opponent's nexus. Mulligan all your spells as they are not needed early on, and we're mostly, if not fully, looking for units. If you're looking for a more aggressive early game, the Mourned, as a cheap elusive card to start quickly the game into your favor. To summarize, you want to have Ari, Bird of Ringer, Esmus, Breath of the Wall, and Dancing Droplet as your standard hand, avoiding all spells or replacing Droplet with a Moonnet if you plan into a more aggressive early game. Under one, we will look into start the factory dropping Bird, the Bird Ringer, or if we choose the aggressive route, the Morning for early game damage and to work on Ari's passive. Dancing Droplet will pair greatly with your turn 2 Ari if you draw her. On turn 2, you will be looking to place Ari down to combine her with Dancing Droplet. If you have drawn an Avery Conspirator, it is better to hold him off for 1 or 2 turns to buff him with chimes and using him either to recall Dancing Droplet or Bear. However, he has a great pairing with Bear, so this duo is another option if you do not have an Ari or a Dancing Droplet. Turn 3 and 4 is when you will be looking to keep increasing your chimes with Bear and Esmos. Play buff Navari Highwayman to get 2 buff cards on the bench, great for defending. Or start going wild with elusive units such as Shadow Assassin to keep drawing or Navari Conspirator if he wasn't dropped last turn and you choose to buff him. Even with 1 chime, his value increases by a lot as he's way harder to remove. You can also hold even longer elusive units, not Dancing Droplet, to buff them even higher for big hits on turn 5 and 6. By turn 5 and 6, you're looking to start to grab up with your wingon, either a chime buff level up Ari or a wild elusive boar. Turn 7 and 8 is when you will usually look to close and win the game with your level up Ari, try to always have a recall in hand just in case you need it to use an Ari to save her. For this deck, it's better to play second than taking the initiative, as you will have plenty of recalls, denies and buffs to either ghost block your opponent, save units or tank hits that would be in KO otherwise. Today there won't be tech options really, you, you can swap between Sinen and Navari Highway, removing one or the other or balancing it as I show on the Review. Try the three versions of both, either Highway or just an end, and get the feel which one you would prefer. Moving into your bad matchups, a value Zoe will destroy you. Sorry, sometimes I must be blunt with you. I know it hurts, but so will this deck. Your best bet is to go overly aggressive against this deck, and hopefully, if you manage to lower them by turn 7, you could end up with your Arby Wing on. Anything after that will be most likely lost as they will have access to plenty of removal with a Felix weapons and a big overwhelm unit thanks to the Winding Light. An Interested Fate is another unfavorable matchup. You do naturally struggle against Twisted Fate, 
and you don't have much of an answer to any either. Unlike last counter, your best bet is to play an even slower, safe game, growing your units slightly more than usual to avoid any removal from the part. They got plenty. Homecoming to stop their Raven Conservatory and delay as much as possible Tybalk. Lastly, Irelia Seer is another tougher matchup as they got plenty of recall to cause block you. They're excellent against lower decks like ours as they can burn early game very efficiently. For your favorite matchups, you got Monoshurima, Hammer Jace, Thrails, which consists of Lissandro Talilla, Twisted Fate Nami, and Vigo Shurima. Thanks so much for watching this new episode of One of Deck. I will see you in the next One of the Deck episode. Hopefully, it doesn't take, well, three weeks <laughs> for the next One of my Deck episode. I will try to be quicker. I hope you crush your enemies with this Arribar um, Toxic Deck. I hope they surrender a lot and you rank up with this. Have a lovely rest of your day. Goodbye.